convoy this is rubber duck rubber ducky you're the one <laughs> do, 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 do. how do you see bert with my eyes bert you're shouting again bert <laughs> oh god oh damn we're really doing oh. this <laughs> yes, we are. all right Welcome, everyone, to a special edition of the Dragoon's Lair podcast. Uh, this is our special WrestleMania predictions episode. Our preview show. Yes, we're very preview because we don't even have the full amount, as we're recording this, of who's in the tag team ladder match. Yes. We're still two teams short because, as we're recording, the SmackDown will be tonight. tonight, and they will be giving the finals of who's there but I'm also expecting a couple of other matches to pop up, probably. Okay. So, without further ado, I am Daniel the Dragon, the Blue Dragoon himself. With me, as per usual, King Hamster Pellet himself, Mike Schiavo. What's up, people? And the family man himself, the incomparable James Haynes. Outside the sphere himself. Yep. And we started this kind of tradition last year, in our first year of the show, of... Jimmy and I doing a WrestleMania show because um, it is one of the biggest events of the year, mm -hmm. and we don't go big into wrestling throughout the course of the year. So but we figure, WrestleMania. yeah, WrestleMania yeah. is that one time where we think this is okay for any fans mm -hmm. to jump in on the bandwagon and hear what we have to say prediction wise. Now we can only go off of some of the rumors, but right. what the card is, what the card is, and you know, and you know just. No watching being a fan, we, we yeah. kind of have an idea of which way the match oh, yeah. is going to go. But it's also, this is going to be a huge event because ever since, well, what was it? Pre-COVID, yeah. they decided to start doing two uh, nights. No, yeah. it was during COVID they did during, two nights. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I, I think it's stupid. Two nights is a lot, but at the same time, it's still better than a eight hour performance oh. of WrestleMania. Because getting like, at home at 3 a.m. Yeah. Although, like we were talking about before we started, if you go on Peacock and you check out the runtime for WrestleMania, and it says night one, six hours. Yeah. I really hope that's total both days. Uh, you could hope. Um, the only thing I could see possibly happening with it being six hours is we're going to get a lot of the recaps yeah, of and the behind leading the up scenes. to the fuse, the feuds. And the, who's parking the car where? Yeah. What time did they show up at the arena? Because everyone <laughs> is loving yeah. that people are showing up to the arena. Oh, this guy got here at 412. Who oh, cares? oh my God. It's like, you know what? We're so, as wrestling fans, we're so used to people showing up late. Mm. Arrivals. Now we got to see when everybody shows up and early on. Eating a cheesesteak. Yeah, from, right. From, he went to Geno's. <laughs> see, I, I'm okay with our <laughs> truth our doing something like funny. that. Yeah. He is hilarious. It's going to be an interesting uh, <laughs> tag match for sure. Yes. With, he's going to bring a ta he's going to bring a table to the ladder. He will. He'll bring match. a table to He'll the ladder match. He'll bring a table to the ladder match. No, the, the thing is, he's he's going to be the guy because he's afraid of heights. Yeah. He's going to show up with the half ladder. He'll, he'll have the step stool. Yeah. He'll have the step <laughs> stool the reaching up. Step oh, yeah. You mean uh, what do you call a step stool? Yeah. yeah. For the Hornswoggle the matches. Punches. Little Jimmy. Yeah. Which it's like, our truth have you, are you still seeing people, little invisible people? It's like, what, little Jimmy's here? Little, little Jimmy. <laughs> yeah. The only guy I still remember bringing a ladder match to a Royal Rumble. It's like, my bad. Yeah. <laughs> he is a comic genius. Yes. Mm -hmm. I got to give him a lot of he credit. He's good on the mic. Yeah. He's good on the mic and a comic genius. Well, you know that his song, What's Up, is. His. Yes. He's mm -hmm. brought it from one area to... It's like Cody. He brought it from one federation to the well, next. Well, the thing was, remember, though, so he went... Because it's his song, <laughs> he has <laughs> the rights to it. That's right. Where right. Cody doesn't have the rights to yeah, Kingdom, no. that's down straight song. Yeah. He just went, and it's like, he's not switching over, which he's... He was able to bring it along, which it's a phenomenal song. It is. So I'm so glad that that song has stuck around. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a big two-night event, yep. not including the third night, which would be the start of everything, because yeah. they usually do a few pre-things on SmackDown mm -hmm. and then going into the Hall of Fame right. ceremony. but And this premium live event, because we can't even call them pay-per-views anymore. Ugh. Anyway, well, yeah. that was the new thing. You got to remember, it went from 
closed circuit, pay-per-view, premium live event. Yes, but what I would like is how about you stop the damn censoring? Yeah. yeah. Because I'm getting sick and tired of Peacock and USA them censoring the audience. Yeah. I get it. You don't you want it to be a PG show. You brought the rock back yeah. and you're allowing him to curse. Meanwhile, everyone else gets muted and you're muting the audience. Mm-hmm. I you want to hear the audience reaction when you go and you take the audience out of it by muting the audience. That's when you start losing yeah. fans because it's like that's part of the enjoyment. Well, you want to hear what the fans are chanting. Exactly. Yeah. You know, I get it. You don't want to hear them cursing, but at the same but time, at the same time they start cursing, that gets a reaction from the talent in the ring. So now you ought, you you mute it or you loop in just them cheering. Yeah. And then the talent in the ring says something that's taken totally out of context. Oh, they're not even the they're not even they're adding not even the audience in. No. audio in. It's like it's literally ridiculous. Yes. Anyway. Now we don't have the full list for the tag match. Right. But this is a what is it? A six man. The tag match consists of it's the a six man. Right now. Oh no! It, it, it's more than it's a six it, team. Sixteen. It's 16. Judgment Day. Yeah. Versus DIY. Versus the New Day versus two more TBD teams. Uh, there's another team. Who? The Awesome Truth. Yes. Yes, I didn't write that down. Sorry. Yeah, you forgot the Awesome Truth. Yeah. The Mi- the Miz and our Truth. Yes. Okay. So this is going to be an interesting match because this is six teams, mm-hmm. and a, it's a ladder match for the titles. Now. I've got my prediction where I see the titles getting split. Okay. Because they're still walking around. They've merged the universal title already, Mm -hmm. where Roman's not walking around with two, two, three belts anymore. But the tag titles, they're still using both. Okay. The women's titles have been, tag titles have been merged. So they even merged the NXT women's titles into it, which... Mm -hmm. I mean, there's less female teams, so it kind of makes a little bit of sense, Mm -hmm. but there's a lot of men's tag teams on both brands. So I can see two different teams grabbing belts, causing a controversy, and them keeping the title split for a while. Now, I think they might do it after the shakeup, because remember, always after at WrestleMania... They shake it up. Yes, but that doesn't matter anymore because you have... It would have been good if they would have said, okay, this person going to Raw, this person going to SmackDown, and they stay there. But they go back and forth anyway, so the shakeup doesn't really matter anymore. Yeah, the draft is nonsense because they throw that out anyway. It's half of the time, and now because it's like your women's tag team titles, they can go back and forth to either show. Right. You've got a merged tag titles for the men. They go back and forth between either show. And when you're in a group like the Judgment Day or Damage Control, you have how many people going across? It's confusing. And honestly, it doesn't matter anymore. If you're going to do the draft, this person stays on Raw for the year. Yeah. This person stays on SmackDown for the year. That's the way it is. The, the, the titles, they get to pick where they want. The champions get to pick where they want to go, and then they stay there. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay? Other than that, that's the way it should be. Otherwise, get rid of the damn thing. Now, out, out of the teams that are there, mm-hmm. that are listed, right? who do you see walking away with a title or both titles? I see... I mean, as funny as it would be to see um, our truth with a belt again, again, okay. um, I think it's going to be Judgment Day. So you think a Judgment think Day is going to retain? Gonna, I think Judgment Day is going to retain. Um, as of right now, yes, because again, we don't know who the next two teams are going to be as of this recording. Um, I think Judgment uh, Judgment Day retains. It's going to be a, a good match. Um, you know, long gone are the days when you have the Hardys and Edge and Christian. And fl- the Dudleys. And the Dudleys flying all over the freaking arena. Yeah. TLCs. Okay. You, yeah. Gone are those days. And, you know, because you put people in a ladder match, they like, that doesn't belong here. You had freaking Big Show in a ladder match one time. And you're like, <laughs> broke a ladder. He broke a ladder. He, he broke the ladder. I mean, you see everybody in the ladder match, yep. and you're like, okay, one of these things here doesn't belong. Oh, yes, it's the 500-pound man. 
Yeah. He does not belong going on a ladder. Well, so far, there is not a larger team. Now, granted, yes, we've got the Street Profits are listed for their round advancement possibility. Right. And I would love to see the Street Profits coming in and taking the titles. Mm -hmm. But I don't see that happening because I can kind of see a feud continuing where it's carrying Cross's group, the final judgment. Right. Which, which I'm sorry, the, their final judgment logo looks ridiculous. Yeah. A TF together, I swear it looks like a kid's like true or false exam that they didn't know what it was. So they kind of made it. Down. Yeah, I'll put it both. Uh, I'll mark both answers yeah. so I'll know I'm right. Yeah. So it's a 50 50 yeah. shot that it's like, well, hopefully the teacher will just grade whichever one was correct. Yes. I'll circle them both. And yeah, yeah. not even circling them both. I'm yeah. writing a TF. It's like, it's literally terrible. Fixed, yeah. fix the logo, but the team. Phenomenal. Oh, the team is solid, solid, but I don't think they're doing enough with them to figure it out yet. So, and that that's one of the drawbacks yeah. of WWE. You have great teams together, you have great talent that can work, but they don't know what to do with them. They keep exactly. pushing. They keep bringing back the old guys and giving them the push. Yeah. And like, what am I sitting here busting my yeah. ass for? If you're just gonna bring back arguments like Shawn Michaels and give him a belt again? Yeah, I I honestly believe they're gonna split the titles. So we're gonna see one of the tag team titles being grabbed by a SmackDown team, and the other one being grabbed by a Raw team. Then this goes back to what I say: if you're gonna have Raw and SmackDown, you're gonna have champion for Raw, champion. Well, that for SmackDown. would be the end of the tag team division crossing over. It should yeah. be, but if you're gonna have both. This is what you do. You give SmackDown its own champion. You give Raw its own champion. You do not cross a promotion. And what you do, if you want to do a pay-per-view a month, fine. You, one month, Raw, only Raw people. One like month, they used to do. Like they used to do. One month, SmackDown, only SmackDown people. But we'll see what happens when it comes down to that. Because the thing is, you figure management's changed up. Mm -hmm. And with the shakeup, they've been doing some interesting stuff. Mm -hmm. I just think the censorship crap needs yeah, to needs stop. To mostly because it's like you can't let one guy who's on the board for TKO Sports yeah, no, you can't do that. be the guy that can come out and curse. Meanwhile, everyone else has to watch their mouth. Right. Yeah. You know... It's either you tell The Rock that he needs to watch his mouth, mm -hmm. and it's like, dude, you can't. This isn't the eight, the late '90s, early 2000s. We're not in the Attitude Era anymore. And you can't ke call Kevin Kelly a hermaphrodite anymore. Yeah, yes. you can't do. You can't you say that. Can't, the can't things. be old. We want the old Rock cutting those scathing promos, but you know, if, not if in a PG world. Not in a PG world. If you're gonna let him cut those promos, you gotta let everybody cut those promos. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we've already had Drew McIntyre have to go and say to, um, what was it, like CM Punk and stuff. Mm -hmm. It was like, oh, that's not very PG. Yeah. It's like, so when you do stuff like that, it's like it takes you out of the enjoyment. Yeah, it takes you out of it. It, it, breaks, it breaks the moment. So, Jimmy, who do you think for the tag titles? I think it's going to be and be a shock. It's awesome truth because I think Damien or Senor Money in the Bank has another plan during one of those two nights, during night two, no matter what. He's got a plan. It's one of the and reasons. Let's see if yeah. it goes into fruition. Yeah, that's part of the and reason why plan. I think they're splitting the titles. Could be. So, I mean, the tag titles, I mean, it's going to be a huge match because of the ladders mm -hmm. involved and having to climb up there. You, you know truth is going to be comedy gold in there. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah you, you put a, yeah. And I can, I can see the awesome truth working together with DIY. Mm -hmm. Or as he calls him, DX. Or Regeneration X. You know, it, it's one of those things where, that's why I say our truth he, really is, he, he is. Yes. Like, there's there's no ifs, ands, or buts about yeah, it. No, it's he, like. You let the man, give the man a microphone and just let him run. Yeah, he's yeah. the guy that if you want to try to break someone. You put him you in. You send yeah. him in and he will just say shit. Yeah. He, we've seen him break Damian Priest yep. so easily. He's the only guy I know that goes to Austria instead of Australia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Premium line yeah, pay. so even though it's like when he's supposed to be doing press, he shows up on the event. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, our truth is definitely gold, mm -hmm. but I don't I don't know if I see him in the Miz having another run with the no. titles. I, I think 
Judgment Day retains. All right. So your Judgment Day retains. I think it's a split Mm -hmm. where it's going to be two separate teams. I can't really predict who, but I do see like a possibility. If it goes two teams, then I can see Judgment Day, New Day. Mm. Okay. Jimmy? I say awesome truth. And you say the awesome truth. All right. Yeah, I'm a little tossed up on that one because if I'm because like I said, I see it split. Mm-hmm. So I'm thinking possibly like the street profits, mm-hmm. if they're in, if they're in it, yeah. Or because I'm I'm think I'm assuming that they're like they're gonna do some crazy shit with the yeah. ladder. So I can't see them not really being in it. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, you know, we still got to figure out who's gonna be there. Right. But my prediction is if they're in it, I say the street profits and possibly diy okay like if they're splitting it right if it's a if it's one team Mm -hmm. i gotta go with jimmy and i gotta agree with them that it would be the awesome truth okay and that's more just the positivity that they're getting out of this right now and truth coming back in and saying he was part of the judgment day was (laughs) great was probably one of the best moments yeah so now we've got other matches that aren't announced yet, but yeah, you know, but we'll go with one that is, which is Uso versus Uso, Jimmy versus Jay. And this has been going for I a have, year waiting. When I look at the card and I'm making my notes, I have Jimmy versus Jay, and in parentheses, I put that down as your first bathroom break match. <laughs> I see that as like your opening match for the night. Mm-hmm. Okay, it could be yeah. opening or bathroom break. Match. Yeah, I think it's going to be more of a, like an opening match, probably like night one opening match, because to free up some of the time right. to see if the Bloodline and Main Event Jey Uso are going to get involved yeah. in the tag team stipulation match no. for night that sets up night two. Now, the, the notes that I put down for this match, I go, both men can grow, go, they can put on a great match. I go, uh, but I totally see this as a bathroom break match. It'll be over, I'm thinking, about five, ten minutes. And the winner, who cares? I, I, I say it's a 15, 20-minute match. And I'm thinking it's going to be main event Jey Uso. Because they've kind of made Jimmy Uso more like a comedy foil. Mm-hmm. Where it's like he keeps getting his ass handed to him. He's like saying bun- a bunch of stuff. It's like he's trying to basically copy his brother where it's right. like yeet, no yeet. Yeah. You know. I, I see, you know, again, again. I, I, outside I of barring uh, interference. Outside of barring interference. Yeah. But yeah. I say, who cares? I see this as a squash match and a bathroom break match. Okay, Jimmy? I say <clears throat> 15 to 20. It's going to be good. The only reason why... T- I'm going with Jay, but the only reason if Jimmy wins is if... Solo gets involved? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the only other thing that would actually, in an honest way, break this is if they bring the K... If they break KFAB, is if Naomi comes out. Okay. Because remember, she's she's married to an Uso. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I wouldn't be too shocked at that. I also would would be actually chuckling if Booker T is at ringside commentating during this match, being their teacher. Hmm. It it would so, be it'll be interesting for that. Interesting too. All right, because he hasn't been around in a while, and that'd be nice to bring him back. Now I have a feeling that we're going to get a match that's not listed yet, which very well may possibly be Dominic Mysterio versus Rey Mysterio, father versus son. Second time, so I think we're gonna see that, and this is th- that's where I would think more of a bathroom break. Match? Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, because again, it's we've seen it before. Yeah, you know. I mean, listen, Dominic's proven that he's actually got talent in the he, ring. He's proven he can go. We don't need to see him fight his father anymore. That was no. fine in the beginning when he joined uh, the Judgment Day. And, you know, everybody like, oh, why are you, you know, how could you do this to your father? And yada, yada, yada. You proved you stepped out of your father's shadow. You proved you can stand on your own two feet. There's no need to go back and fight him again. I mean, only way that could work is if one of the two men had a belt. And then it just so happened Dominic's a champion, raise the challenger, or the other way around, and well, they're fighting for a belt. Well, remember, we just had Dominic show up on SmackDown 
to go and interfere in the Santos Escobar Rey Mysterio match. Right. So because of that, that's why I see this because it just keeps going. Right. It keeps going, but you don't but this need could be, to this, keep it going. This could be a Rey retirement match. Like I, Ray finally stepping aside because I mean Ray keeps getting hurt. They, yeah. He's only getting older, even though he still moves he's, like he's, he's in his twenties. He moves, but again, you know the old adage, adjective goes: you go out on your back. Fine, but I don't see them making this a retirement match out of the blue. I think maybe build it up a little bit. Well, we've got a, we've still got because we still got a little over a week. So we've got tonight's SmackDown, and then there's going to be a Raw and a SmackDown still, because we're mm. recording this a little over a week before. Yeah. So that's why I could see this happening, or because of the fact that it's more a matter of unfinished business and a possible passing of the torch just to really end, like, end it. Mm-hmm for Dominic to finally get like some more credentials because he's been taking a lot of losses. He has been taking the, a lot of losses. He's proven to be one of the biggest heels the company has. Which works for him. It works yeah. for him, but it's at the same time, it's also I'll give him a little bit of a redemption of his father beat his ass last time. Mm-hmm. So let him be able to step in and show like he's there's been growth. And if this does become a retirement match, okay, yes, I can see... It, it, it's kind of, it, it would be a good nod in the WWE, like good feather in the WWE's cap to let Dominic pin his father. Yeah. You know, let him, let let Dominic be the one to say, okay, I'm taking this and I'm running. You know, if if that's the way it rolls out, great. Um, But, you know, WWE and... They don't play by the rules. They just go, yeah. ah, we're going to do this now. Yeah. Well, the thing is with it, new management. Yeah. And, you know, like they might want to wrap up the story. And also keep in mind how much more time does Ray have on his contract? Yeah. But also the thing is Ray can step back behind the scenes even with, on his contract. Mm-hmm. He may retire. It could be a retirement for in-ring action. And he steps up as a leader behind the scenes for the LWO. Could yeah. be. Be. We'll see what happens. Yeah. So, Jimmy, what I do you think? think? What that is, you just said it. You just pointed it right on the head. You got Legado de Dan Fantasmo, and you got the LWO. Who should? Who could say that it could be Dominic and Santos versus Ray and a partner to be named? It could be Andrade. It could be Carlito. And I mean, even with the with the two other could be names, Dragon Lee. Could, could be. be exactly too. They've also hinted that. That it could be Dragon Lee also. Yep. So, but you never know. Who you know, a battle of the for the future of Lucha Libre. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, there's plenty of options there if that's going to be one of the matches. It's not on the card now, so that's one of the reasons why I'm predicting that it might be. It could work. Especially if you're saying six hours, and it's supposed to have a start time of 7 p.m. Yeah, I really hope that at six hour total being both nights, because six hours for one night, that's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Yeah. Listen, it not no, the realm of possibility, but just yeah. Holy shit, that's a lot. But you know, a lot of recap of storylines yeah. and how things have gone. They've done some great video promo packages mm-hmm. lately where you're getting to see the wrestlers seeing like their backstory of and everything, making you really feel for them. Yeah. See them in catering. Yeah. Right. I uh, mean, well, there's, I mean, there's, try not to do the catering I so know. much. There's, uh, but there's, uh, there comes a time like, I, okay, let's just. Get to the match, dude. The video package is great. Let's just get to the fucking match. Yeah. Now, what's one of the other matches that's coming up on the list? We have the U.S. Championship. Logan Paul champion versus Randy Orton versus Kevin Owens. Yep. Now, this is definitely a match because, unfortunately, we're going to get a fucking prime bottle in the center of the goddamn ring for WrestleMania. Yep. Which I... Why? No, but I know why. It, no, it, it's distracting to have a logo in the center of the ring mm-hmm. because now you have to show an over-the-top angle just to see the stupid logo in the ring. Yeah, There's no reason for it. It's you're trying to make it into something like a UFC fight where it's like, okay, we, we've got logos all over the place. We don't need it. And They and, have enough money. They don't need sponsorship. Prime yeah. is not a sponsor of this. Snickers is more. Yeah. And in all honesty, it's like I, I'm rooting to see Kevin Owens win this one. 
I have the same note. I want to see Kevin Owens win, especially yeah. because he stuck with the company when he had the opportunity to leave. Um, and even like they screwed him over. Remember when he fought uh, Roman Reigns, and he got and Reigns got handcuffed, yeah, to, like a steam pipe or something. And he couldn't answer the ten count. Remember what they did yeah. to him? They like you know like eight, nine, and then the referee just walks away. Yeah, and then he comes back. 20 minutes later and he has the key. No, you, you 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 don't do that to Kevin. Yeah. You give the man his due. I want to see him win the match. Unfortunately, I think only because you have uh Logan Paul's brother that match coming up, it could lead into something like it did before mm. with Tyson. Um See, I got. I think I think Logan retains. I want to see Kevin Owens wins, but the only reason why I'm also saying I see Kevin Owens winning it, him and Orton have been a great team. Yes. But watching Kevin Owens punch two guys at the same time repeatedly, yes. you figure he's done it to what is it? Um, what what's Austin Theory? Austin and Theory and Grayson Waller. At, but he also did it to the other tag team. What is the the fashion boys? Oh, oh. yeah. Um, yeah. Um, exactly. Pretty exactly. deadly. Pretty deadly. Yeah. Pretty deadly just got knocked out. And it was great because it was like, I wouldn't stand so close together when Kevin's around. Yeah. And he just comes. It's like, Randy, I did it again. I did it again. See, look, I get, it's like a guy who's knocking out two guys at the same mm -hmm. time. It's this is where I, why. And you figure also too, Randy's getting up there. Yeah. I don't see Randy taking it, but. I do see Kevin Owens, one for the redemption after getting hit yeah. with the brass knuckles, but also because you figure last year, WrestleMania, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn mm. winning the tag titles. Yeah. I think it's going to be one where it's we're going to change hands on that title. I, I want to see Kevin walk away with it because he's been loyal to the company. He's been good. Whatever they asked him to do, he did. The cynic side of me is saying Logan Paul's going to retain. Jimmy? I'm either go I'm going with either Owens or Orton, but I will tell you this, and it makes me laugh, and it cringes as I say it too. Logan Paul is the second coming of the reality wrestler. You know who the first one was? Oh God, the Miz. Yeah. Well, the difference is though, the Miz. And he's beat. He beat the Miz. So basically, the Miz has passed the to the freaking mm. torch to him. No, no. In a way, no. no. No, because no. you got to realize the Miz. No, 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 he beat. That's right. The Miz, the Miz paid his yeah. fucking dues. Yes. Yeah, he did. He stuck. He and went. He stuck with. This but he not only stuck it out. He started off where it was like reality TV game show for a contract. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't put him in the ring. He was out there in the audience. Yeah. And then he he every again he's somebody every stupid thing that they wanted him to do he did even he did when it. he when he cut that promo with uh, Enzo. Yep. And he was like, I was kicked off the tour bus. He goes, I had a fucking change in the bathroom. He goes, yeah. and this is me you're talking to here. Yeah. He goes, I know what you went through. Yeah. They kicked him out of the locker yeah, room. Locker Enzo room. didn't like that they were kicking him off a tour bus. It's yeah. like, guess what? It's like, pay nobody your dues. You yes. yeah. When the Miz is telling somebody that nobody likes something, that's what they know. People going to take it. How do I know? Because Yokozuna had his match. He said, he had wait for him. How? Four bottles of water for Yokozuna. And he paid his dues. Yeah. And that's. You don't get it. Logan yeah. Paul has to pay his dues. Logan. Dues. He's they, he's been given way too much, yes. yeah. And a no. win no. for him no. is too much too soon. But again, because he has that much hype behind him, mm -hmm. I think they're gonna let him keep it. I want Kevin Owens to win because he's the company man. But right now, my brother fighting Tyson, it's all the all the, the hype. hype. I think. Listen, it, Paul retains. Listen, his brother fighting Tyson is it, it's it, not gonna be a fight. It's it, gonna be a murder. Oh yeah, they, well, we're, not gonna, we're not gonna. We're not. Jake Paul ever again condition if he even We're not survives Jake Paul alive anymore. People think that this is a yeah, no, no Ty, listen Tyson, for, I don't yeah. think so. Listen, out of him. Him. Tyson's a WWE Hall of video. Tyson's probably, oh yeah. He's hitting the back. Just, yeah. just about as powerful as hell. At, at 58, Tyson had not really lost no. that. And he's still talking shit. He goes, you want to talk shit, motherfucker? I'm come and beat your ass. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's and like, I'm going to beat your brother's ass, too. Don't do that no more. No, did, no, you, did, you, did you see the if they thought he goes, he's your ear. Oh, it's your ear. And it, it's it's champion Gunther. Gunther. Versus the, Sammy Zane. Sammy, 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 yep. Sammy Zane just out of contact. I see Sammy walking out with it. Mm -hmm. yep. I see the streak. And the old man is the 50. Gunther is going to be higher. And 
We're gonna give it. You give this to see. Start and stop building. Yeah. Those Nazis were yeah. The little yeah. infinite rain has been impressive. Mm-hmm. So I mean, his Smash Mouth styles. You it, know, it, you get in it. You're gonna get beat. We wrestled mm-hmm. in progress. Yeah, but it's not. But he's not like that. He's gonna be a long-term like heavyweight champion. Like, really repackage him. Oh yeah. Well, give, believe me, he has his. You seen him originally? Yeah. Though, right. He chopped. They basically chopped that body and muscle. And he, he needs, a, I think, be a long-term champion. Yeah. You need a little more mic skill. Yeah. And if we're going he, by that, then Sami Zayn he's has, not yeah. He's not terrible at it, but he's not, not the guy. Who's better on the mic? Sami Zayn. Oh, Sami Zayn. That's why Sammy he's going to get the IC title. I don't think he's going to get anything higher than the title. I don't ever yeah. see Sami winning the big one. But he's like a honky-tonk man. Let him run with the IC title for yeah. a while. Nah. I, I I think Sammy could be one of the the And he'll lose. But I, I got to go with Sammy Zane for yep. versus okay. there. The first unit. We all yeah. say this Sammy. This is the first time. So what 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 do we got? Uh, we have LA Knight versus AJ Styles. I have this down as bathroom break number two. Uh, you know what? No. This isn't going to be a bathroom break match. No. I can't see this one being. No. Nope. There's going to be. I, can, I mean, I, both the, men can go. No, the bathroom break is going to be the backstory leading up to all the video packages yeah. that they do of the, this rivalry between the two of them. I just have a feeling both men are super talented. Both men are capable of putting on a five-star match. Trando. Sorry. <laughs> Both men, I'm Italian. I talk with my hand. I know. Use your other hand. <laughs> Both men are capable of putting on a five star match. I yeah. just have this sneaky suspicion in the back of my head that they're going to make this a squash. I want to see, but I see AJ Styles picking up the win. But I see this being a short squash. It's just a little nugget in the back of my head. So, yeah, squash. With the packaging and LA Knight showing up at AJ Styles' home, mm. like assaulting this him. This isn't going to be a squash. This isn't going to be a squash. This is going to. But, but again, given WWE's track record. Yeah, this is going to be a brawl. This is not going to be. I, I, this is another this, one where you think it's going to be a bathroom break and it's going to be another like 20 then, minute match. Like I, these, I hope I'm wrong because, again, yeah. like I said, both men can go. Oh yeah, I I, I think hope I, I can see them doing making this. Well, I think it's oh, LA Knight and second bro. I think this yeah. one's for LA Knight. Okay, because Knight, it's like you know the story that they've been telling mm-hmm. of LA Knight supposedly stepping over AJ Styles' body to get the tag team shot with John Cena. It wasn't. It was. It was. It was always supposed to be LA Knight. Mm-hmm. If he didn't get COVID. Right. It w- AJ Styles wouldn't have even been a thought. But the fact that he was okay enough that he was able to come back, mm-hmm. it's like, okay. And they've kind of left out the whole thing of everyone who's fought Karrion Cross is changed. When Karrion Cross starts coming at you, where it's like he starts doing the dark mystical stuff, you go into a feud with him, you come out, you're not the same. Nope. AJ hasn't been the same since. Drew hasn't been the same since. Yep. Shinsuke has not been the same since. They've all made heel turns, really. Drew, you can say he's not a heel, but he is kind of a heel. He's like the anti-phase. Yeah. He's like an in-betweener. Like yeah. even, even Ray hasn't been the same since. Yeah. But it's still, it's one of those things where it's like, I see this being L.A.
night mm -hmm. this is his like payback especially after getting screwed in the elimination chamber mm. because aj styles shows all the way up to australia just to interfere and cost him the match yeah same thing with logan paul yeah, yeah. with all ko let me tell you that's gonna be a big brawl that's why not for nothing i see bailey walking out with this and having to overcome damage control okay so jimmy the what one do you think i will tell you is this people forget bailey is the first women's grand slam champion yeah she is people don't understand not only that but also coming with it the only thing she has not touched is the queen of the ring which is now out but here's the thing she's won the royal rumble now she has to be like triple h and many of the others cashing in and winning mm -hmm. the title at wrestlemania i'll tell you this i see bailey i see her getting help in this from who hey we never know but the thing is that she's well that's that how you get coming. bianca belair on the card yeah because bianca and naomi would have to be the ones to help yep and even then they're still they're still outnumbered Mm. But I think they'll bring in that somehow there'll be a crazy X Factor coming in. Who we may never know. Nah. But it's not Charlotte. No, because Charlotte. Charlotte. No. Yeah, Charlotte's out for a while. Charlotte's out for a while, and it would have been Shotzi, but then Shotzi took a bed. Yeah, yeah. Too, when she's still, I wouldn't be too shocked to see her there. Yeah. And the way she's been going with her rehab, I've been watching on, um, on Instagram. But I wouldn't be too shocked at that either. Okay. And everything. So, now we go to this. Let's go to before yeah. we before we get to the big guys match. Before we get to the big well, we're not we we're not even more. at there's no there's still there's another more yeah, yeah but the women's tag match yeah yeah the uh, women's title well there's a women's title match no, no I'm counting that as part of the big ones okay yeah so the women's tag team match we got the Kabuki Warriors versus. This is Bianca Belair and Naomi. I have in my notes the Kabuka Warriors win. Jade Cardgill interferes, costing Bianca and Naomi the match, which sets up a future feud between Belair, Naomi, and Cargill. I don't know. Cargill's just making her like smack the interference, which might cost them. Yes, grew up from Dakota Kai. Okay. Mm-hmm. And that's the only way I'd like the Kabuki Warriors losing the titles. Because if Eosky and da Dakota Kai are not involved in that match at all, mm -hmm. then it's a two-on-two. -two and I think Bianca and Naomi, you figure they just brought Naomi in. Yeah, I could see the two of them getting the tag titles. It'll give a little more of gravitas to it. Mm -hmm. I mean... I liked some of the previous tag champions we've had. And I mean, let's face it, um, Katana and Chance were great ch tag champs. I wish they would have gotten more of a run, but we'll see what happens when it I comes down like to, to it. I still see Isla Dawn and uh, oh, yeah. Abba Faye get it back because remember... They never they, they lost the unification match, yep. but they never got a shot. Oh, right. actually, Real. they did, but it was... It was a squash. It was. Yeah. It, it was on smack. It was like also that. because there was still the injury, right. so it was like coming back from an injury. So it takes a like, little time. Yeah, and I like how they're also. Oh yeah, they're in, the tag titles. Yeah, one they're, thing. Oh, keep going. No, they're yeah. another. 
Isla, like, Isla Dawn. And, and the fire. fire. Yeah. Those two are great. I love the gimmick. I think they they should be top contenders. I just don't right now. I think they need to build them up a little more. Yeah. Uh, after coming off of NXT and like getting an actual run, because unfortunately the teams that have come right off of NXT, they need to be opened up to a wider audience. Because if you're if you're not watching NXT, mm -hmm. you don't know who they are. You yeah. Who they are. And NXT is supposedly going to be shifting from USA to the CW. Mm -hmm. So, well, remember, the CW doesn't have an identity anymore. Yeah, they don't have anything. So it's going to be an interesting thing. to it'll, it'll open up more eyes because it won't be just cable only. Right. But at the same time, you know, they don't have a good track record of bringing people yeah. over from NXT into the main yeah. roster. They, they bring them in and then they bury them. Yeah, and I mean... The uh, the former champs they got screwed yep. mm -hmm. at, because they gave it to Baszler and Rousey, merged the titles, and then those two broke, and it was done. Mm -hmm. Well, that was the first part of the curse. Yeah, yeah. that was how it started being cursed, yep. and then every single time that Chelsea Green got a partner and won the titles, they lost. It, they kept the ti their her partner kept getting hurt. Well, one thing I think it should do, whether it's WWE, Ring of Honor, TNA, AEW, whatever, I think. Championship matches, title matches should be written where no outside interference because you have a great match going on. You let these two people fighting for tag, IC, whatever. Let them go. Let them show what they can do. I think it kind of cheapens it a little bit when somebody comes in interferes. and interferes. Yeah. I'm like, yes, okay, you understand the heel is going to cost, have the heel friend come in and cost the baby face the match. You understand that, but when it's a, a pay-per-view or it's a title match, let them go one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, you can have the heel win and cheat, but listen, don't they, have any interference. Well, they did, I think they that, started that cheapened doing it a little bit. They AEW with the Continental title and everything. The stipulations is it's one-on-one, -on -one, mm -hmm. whatever the time limit is. Yep. And is that's and it's one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. Nobody outside the, the ring. The thing is, you have to like. Yeah, but yes. you, you have to remember the interference is go is part of the story well, i understand yeah. it's part of the story but, but i also feel when they interfere it kind of cheapens it a little bit you have two guys who are knocking the crap out of you putting on a five-star match and then yeah. you have somebody come in from yes the but it's also you have to remember they're trying not to take and like they're trying to keep both guys elevated right and the only way to do that really is the match can't be a clean win if it's a clean well, it's if it's a clean victory mm -hmm. The rivalry doesn't get to keep going. Okay, fine. And you can have you, you can, can have, and some guy's gonna look in a worse position. Right, but you can fine. You can have the heel be the heel. Okay, you can have him low blow. You can have him hit with a, a chain, a table, take off a turnbuckle, have him hit it head, whatever. Uh, what I'm saying is, let two people duke it out. Don't have somebody run down from the back for a title shot. Don't have somebody run down from the back. Give somebody else a low blow or distract the referee. Well, congratulations. You've described the majority of Roman Reigns' oh, yeah. victories. Oh, yeah. Without a doubt. So, but that's the thing. That's what, when we get to the Roman Reigns match, yeah. like, that's where we'll discuss that. Mm -hmm. But we know night one is going to have a tag match mm -hmm. that's going to determine how the uh, how it's going to play oh, yeah. out for night two. And I have extensive notes written on that one. Oh, I'm sure you going, do. Yeah. Going both ways. Yeah. Listen, now let, let's talk about that one first okay. before we go into some of the other matches. And because, also the Rhea match. Yeah, yeah. Before we talk about the Rhea match. Uh, we're talking the tag yeah, team match. Yeah. No, I'm talking. Yeah. We're going to talk the tag, tag team, team match first. Yeah. Okay. The stipulation right. match, basically. Right. Where it's either no bloodline interference or bloodline, bloodline rules. Interference. Right. Okay. So, so what do you got? I got extensive notes. So you, I go last. All right. So my thing is, like, I see this being where they're going to get the bloodline out of this. Okay. So I see this going Ro Roman and Rock are going to lose. More because Rock has not been wrestling in the ring. Right. So Rock is not 
the same guy. He's not, he doesn't have the stamina mm -hmm. to keep going. Yeah, you can look great by physically working out, yeah, but, but he hasn't, ha the ring rust is going to be setting yes. in. Roman is all, all ring rust because the motherfucker he barely does anything. Yeah, he fights what? Once every four months? They said they, mm -hmm. they put up a statistic of like Hogan, uh, yeah. Don Morocco, and him. Like Hogan had like 1,400. Uh, defenses. defenses and Roman yeah. had like 58. Yeah. So, and that's the thing. That's the same way like Bruno San Martino yes. had huge amounts of defenses. where he didn't, he defended, but he held, there were years where he didn't defend. He just had the title. Right. So he was just the champ and that's what Ro they're doing with Roman at this point. Yeah. But no, I, I think if you go ahead, Jimmy, you, you would no, would, keep going. Oh, okay. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Yeah. All right. Bruno, 2000. 803 days, 681 defenses. Yeah, okay. Bob Backlund, mm. 2135, 920 defenses. Okay. Okay. Hogan, 1474, 468. Roman Reigns, 1288 days, 54 defenses. Now, hold on. Before we say anything else, <laughs> just to remember, Backlund, San Martino, and the start of the Hogan era all consisted in the following areas. New York, New Jersey, Philadelphia, Montreal, Toronto, Boston. Well, when they had the territories. Then yeah, had the it was still territories. Was mm -hmm. territories and everything. But that's part of, like I said, that was part of Hogan's thing. Because remember, half his 1474, he fought in L.A., Chicago, Text, yeah. Houston, Have you ever seen any of Hogan's matches when he fought in Japan? No. Yes. This dude, Hogan, now, you, you see Hogan, you're thinking of ground and pounder. Okay, I want to bounce off the rope, drop the leg. When he was in Japan, I saw some of his matches, this guy is flying off the top rope doing moonsaults and shit. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, Hogan? What yep. the hell? Not what he was known for. Not what he was no. known because they wouldn't let him. Yeah. They wouldn't let McMahon, him. McMahon didn't want to. Yeah, because McMahon not. likes big men, big men slapping man meat. Right, but so <laughs> just watching him in his in, in in his prime in Japan, doing the stuff. <laughs> there you go. I'll be right back. Yeah. And just just watching Hogan in Japan do moon salts, moon salts onto Stan to Larry to Hanson. Yes, and yes. you're like, this is not Hogan. No, this is holy shit. So, uh, anyway, but. Yes. I know I'm because I get like you say I get aggravated myself with freaking Roman and everything with everybody coming down. Hogan didn't have that. No, uh, even though even Bruno when Hogan never had that, even when Hogan didn't defend the title, he was yeah. out there fighting. Okay, how many times, you know, it you have Roman out there who will show up, cut a half hour promo in the ring, and, and then, then leave. Exactly, just like Lesnar. Right. That's what got me sick with Lesnar and everything. Yeah, and I don't understand. I mean, Lesnar, the man of five fucking moves, and he used the same one. Yep. The the match he, he had, has I, six, uh, six moves. moves. He has a couple of more moves, but he doesn't use it. No, the, and the, those the, are the match he had. The match he had with um, Cena, I think it was at Mania. Yeah. Only thing seen. Only thing Lesnar did. F five. F five. F five. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, German suplex. suplex. No, German suplex. That's what. Sixteen German so, suplex. German suplex. That was the entire. I don't know why he threw Cena around like a rag. He did, but it like okay. Why did Cena agree to? Fine, you're gonna job for Lesnar. Job for Lesnar. Make the match enjoyable. Yeah. Seeing Cena stand up and it just suplex, suplex, suplex. It. I'm like, okay. Why am I watching this? Well, you figure you're ta you had basically WWE Superman getting yeah. suplexed basically to hell. Yeah. So basically, make a, but that wasn't a match, doomsday. though. Yeah, that's that what wasn't it was. a match. That was just him doing the same move over and over. You again. may not have liked it, but it was more a dominance thing. Yes, it was. You can you can have Lesnar be dominant in the ring, have him do other moves. Cena could have made him look so great. Listen, but remember, what is Cena known for? The five moves of doom. Right. Most of wrestlers have five moves they do all the time. Exactly. So Lesnar being able, though, to do that many suplexes, one after another, after another, after another, 
most and people and yeah. make sure it comes on a, a yeah. t-shirt too. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, let's face it, that became a thing. It became it a became thing, but Suplex City. Bitch. Right. But still watching it like okay fine i'm gonna watch it i give him 36 suplexes in a row no yeah, he even watch a match to, to rollins too oh yeah, yeah. listen it's what they do I know, it's what because, they do which is one well of the guess what when you pay, fix. when you get a guy that's paid as much as lesnar for the limited amount of time that he's there with the agent that he had yeah so let's face it he was able to get away with a lot of stuff oh, that other people wouldn't shit. have been able to get away with. I want mm -hmm. the company plane. I only want to work on Tuesday. And what, I don't con want this. I don't Congratulations. And why, I don't want this. and why is he now getting named in, in the suits? Because shit went down. So no let's pun intended. Do, yeah. So let's just be real here. Yeah. Lesnar was, he's an amazing athletic talent. Yes. But he's not in this WrestleMania. No, no. And his spot has already been taken by the new next big thing, Braun Breaker. Yep. Yeah. So, night one, tag match. Cody, Seth, Rock, Roman. Who you got? I got Seth and Cody. Who you got? I got Seth and Cody, but I have a funny feeling it's going to be Roman and Rock because it's going to, the night two is going to be something Everybody's going to expect and not expect because in starting from in May, Dwayne leaves for for filming, and he's going to be doing triple work, which means he's got TKO. He's the the what the CEO. He's on the board of directors. He's on the board of directors. He's the UFL president, and he's finally back to work. So. Someone gave him another acting job yeah. after Black Adam? Oh, my God. I know. It's like, I want to be the villain, but I have to be the hero first. Oh, wait. Oh. No, that's that's right. The only way they got him back for Fast 10 was to promise him his own separate Hobbs movie without having to be around Diesel or anybody else. Mm -hmm. Although Hobbs and Shaw was hysterical yes congratulations feel good comedy of the year thank you jason statham yes it was a feel good comedy of the year i'm sorry yeah well it, let, let's face it you put jason statham in, in anything it's yeah be great. yeah jason statham pretty much saved that he made that movie yeah, Just yeah. the and, banter between the two of them well remember and when because if we're going to mention hobbs and shaw we got to mention the one cameo that was in there because roman being in the background of the family even though he was supposed to be out with leukemia. Well, you know, he needed he needed a paycheck he while he was paycheck. recovering. <laughs> <Yeah>. <sighs> it's not like they gave him a speaking line in there. No, he didn't. He said, ooh, ah. Yeah, that, the, hug. yeah he didn't speak, thank God. Mm. I got. Okay, Joe. Um, I got yeah. Cody, win, Cody and Seth wins. Okay. Now, setting up this. Cody, Cody wins. The Rock turns on Roman during the match. Okay, big setup. The Rock turns on Roman, setting up the a feud between Rock and Roman where The Rock goes for the head of the table. Saying, I want to be the head of the table. What do they call him now? The final boss. boss. <laughs> the heck is this? Street Fighter? <laughs> Round one. Fight. Fight. Now, this, this is the few Flawless things. Flawless victory. See fatality <laughs> if, you, if you do the the rock turning on roman you can have cody lose night one okay which sets up the bloodline being there and then in night two okay the bloodline's all around and then you have the rock turn on roman then costing roman the title which gives it to cody which is a more probable uh outcome and during the match, you have you can have so setting up that one. You can have Seth turn on Cody, or something happens where Seth inadvertently gets knocked out or hits yeah. somebody. Well, we know who else is the next factor for that. Right. Match. Yep. So then you set up True. you set up the following night. The bloodlines in the ring. Everyone's like, oh, the Rock. You know, the bloodline gonna kick their ass again. Da 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 da. And then all of a sudden, just when you think Roman is gonna ring, Rock. Hits Roman, Rock turns on Roman, Cody picks up the win. This is a lot of R's. It is. Rock <laughs> picks up. What is this? A movie? Cody gets the belt, 
which sets up Rock Roman battling for the head of the bloodline. At SummerSlam. At SummerSlam. Yeah, that's if Rock's finished Cleveland. filming. Because well, remember, even if he's yeah. not, I no, no, he, he has to. What's he filming? Fast Ten or Fast Thirty, whatever the hell they're up to. I don't know which one it's going to be for him, but the thing is, he has to like basically. That's the reason why he's not allowed to wrestle if he's doing a film, because if he gets hurt, same thing with Cena. Hmm. Cena went, and if you saw, Cena came back during the entire strike yeah. to wrestle. The second the strike was over, he went back to Hollywood. He went right back to work because there was already productions he was wa- he was waiting on. Mm-hmm. So he needs to be able to do that, and that's the whole thing. If they're sitting there and they take a chance, remember what happened to Cena with Rollins. Rollins broke his nose. Right. If he would have been working on a film, he would have been the production would have had to stop. Delaying production, costing people jobs, time, money for him to recover. Mm-hmm. They won't. They won't <laughs> get. They won't authorize. The following productions are for this year: Red One and Moana Two. Yeah, Moana Two though is him basically it's going. It's audio work. Yeah. And the worst part is, and I've said this before on the show, that Moana Two was supposed to be a series. They just decided take the series, turn it into a movie. So the animation style is not going to be the same. Mm. They weren't even supposed to have the original voice actors. They were getting people to be them for the series right now you're getting them to try to come back because now you decided out of nowhere let's do moana 2 well he is, also has what down is red one what's that what is red one don't know yet oh after a villain kidnaps santa from the north pole and oh, elf God. extremely large and formal operative must partner with the world's most nope. accomplished no 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 <laughs> I was kind of hoping it would have been like a sequel to Red Notice that he did with Gal Gadot and Ryan yes, Reynolds. Yes, but I was hoping that. No, that movie was hysterical. Yes, but yeah. this is not going to no, be that. that. He's no. going to do in twenty twenty five the live action Moana, but also get this. Oh, we need a live action Moana yes. as well. How many years has it been since Moana came out? Who cares? At least with the other Disney live action ones, they were in the fucking nineties. Look what he's. That better be a. That better be bullshit. Let me see. No, no, no. Okay. Oh God, we're gonna have a heart attack. Yeah. You ready? Let's go, Dwayne. <laughs> I heard that. Yes, I heard and that. I don't. But I, I also heard the Neverending Story is getting a reboot. I wouldn't mind that better than this. I'm okay with the Neverending Story you, getting a too. reboot because of the fact that it's the Neverending Story. Well, the yes. Neverending Story was also, if you read the book, mm-hmm. it's half. Yeah. It's literally half, and they left stuff out. And if you let's just get, traumatize another large group of children by seeing our tracks being killed in the swamp of sadness. Yes, that was quite. Depressing. That basically, like, that was like. I think we're gonna end up having to do an episode of this podcast where we go back and watch traumatic films from our childhood. Yes, <laughs> Transformers, nineteen eighty six. Yeah, that's not as traumatic no. as some of the others. No, not, yes. no, but it's up there. Watership Down. Black Cauldron. I love the Black Cauldron, though. The Leo and I pick up one. <laughs> All right, come on, let's, let's get, let's get let's back to what we're talking about. Yeah, okay. okay. Talking about. So, All right, so I got, I got Cody going over. Maybe not in the first night. I got Cody going over in the second night due to interference and Rock turns on. One of the two nights, the Rock will turn on Roman. And whether it's the first the night or the second night. Finished. Yeah, and if he turns on Roman on night two, mm-hmm. I'm going to tell you this right now. It's going to probably be about as shitty as because it's going to basically taint the win for Cody. Yes, it will and taint the, the win. And it will basically be the, what The Rock did when he was the host of WrestleMania when it was Cena versus The Miz for the title. Yeah. Yeah. That was one of the worst main events in WrestleMania I'm not history. It'll be a good main event. I'm saying I got Cody going over on night two. Yep. And I on don't one of the two nights I just don't the Rock will turn on Roman. I, I see the egomaniac turning on him, but not I don't I see it happening more, if anything, the egos clashing in night one. Again, keep in mind we are talking about the rock here. I egomaniac. Egomaniac. And I could see him. On night two, 
costing Roman the win and tainting Cody's victory. Listen, because when they brought Cody in, they had him all set up. Now, listen, and Co- how many times did they make him drop for stupid shit? Yeah, but the thing is, when it comes down to it, Roman Reigns and The Rock is not as big a match as it was originally thought because what does everyone want now? Finish the story. No, they want... Yes. Everybody wants that, but no, everybody really wants to see The Rock versus Cody. Yes. So I see it being more a matter of Cody versus The Rock being the long drawn out. It could be that too, but again, you would have to have somebody cost... Fine. Um, Rock costs Roman the, the belt night two. Okay. They hug in the ring afterwards. Cody and The Rock. Oh, you did it. You finished the story. Yada, 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 yada. And then, you know, as they go to leave, they're shaking hands. See, you're like, Rock you're. Pulls them back in and goes, I'm taking that. See, Corey points to it. The thing is, there's already been rumors and stories. I don't know if you've heard this, Jimmy, or not, about Rock forcing Roman to drop the title to him just so he could be, they replace the match where it's Rock versus Cody for the title on night two of Mania. I don't know how that could be set up. He's the final boss. He tells Roman, give me the title. So you would have that after that the, after that tag match, either after or before, because now it's the egomaniac. Remember, this is Rock back in the five hundred dollars shirts. Mm-hmm. These aren't even five hundred dollars shirts; they were fucking like TJ Maxx shirts that he just said were five hundred dollars. This, yeah. this is him being like the Nation of Domination again. Yeah, yeah. Which the Nation was still a better group. It was. It was a better yeah. group. Now, so I think we can all just another unanimous. We all have Cody going over in some form or another. Yeah, but I'm saying for Cody Seth win because then there, there's going to be the screw job more. Right. On you know, the other way that Seth also other than the bloodline win it. I mean, winning the match. What do you call Cody and Seth? In a way. Well, let me rephrase it. The only other X factor is Drew. Interfering in the match and costing Cody and Seth. I can actually see more people interfering in yeah. that match than yeah. anything, except for Punk. That's well, what you know. You know what I can see happening. Oh wait, he might have a chair. He might have a chair. No, I no. Could yeah. see McIntyre coming down. But no, like, and but, then the X Factor because they've been talking about this. Who comes down to help out Cody? Dustin. No, no, no. They've been talking about, and I know, but they've Dustin's been talking about giving him. Yeah, right. Listen, it. Yeah. I it. It's not going to be Dustin. You have to realize Nick, Nick and Tony will not. The, cons will yeah. not do that for this. Yeah, one. and the thing is, you have to realize too that right now there's so many people involved because of the bloodline alone. Mm-hmm. You figure Jimmy and Jay, they're going to both be involved in that match as well. Yeah, because he one's going to have to stop the other one. Because of the fact, yeah, they're going to have their match, and there's still going to be that feud continuing to go. Solo's going to be another X Factor in the match. Drew's going to be an X Factor. Who might end up being an X Factor? Sammy. Sammy Zayn, because him and Cody, of how good they are, you see that him get involved. Anybody who's had the bloodline interfere for an opportunity may just decide fuck the bloodline mm. and you get more people interfering than ever. And you know what? We could have Seamus making a return. You could. Although I see a buddy of mine coming out with Cody, Mike Ramundi. You've seen him before. The guy who comes out all the time in Dusty Rhodes cosplay. Oh, God. I can see him walking down to the ring with thank you no i could see thank him walking you. down no they've done it before. they brought no. him into the ring before they brought him i could see him coming down for mania no no because no. he I, showed up to everything we needed the crushing sound because that basically was like no you could show up but ex, not wrestle me no i could see him doing that, that. Would i'm not saying he'd be interfering i'm just saying walking down to the ring with him the only other x factor that would actually figure it into this match and everybody's predicting he's either going to be at mania or the next night on raw is mjf not no. Yes. No. 
He is. He, he's staying AEW. Nope. Yep. Guess what? He signed. No. Everything off. Right. And that plays it, in. That plays into what he was saying into. before. Before he got hurt. <laughs> oh, I'm tr- saying the big t- debate of before 24. he got hit. That was the whole big thing. I think he re-signed with AEW. Well, we're going to be a big holy listen, shit gonna moment. Listen, we're going to be disagreeing. We're going to be, we're gonna be disagreeing. We're going to be yeah. disagreeing on this one for a while. Yes. So let's go and let's take a look, and we'll switch over to Seth versus Drew, Drew yep. for the their title, the world mm-hmm. title. the world title. Now, this one, I see Drew taking it and not being able to keep it for more than a minute. I agree. See what I have because oh. I see this being he wins, send your money in the bank, cashes in. See, I what I have was I can see that happening now, but what I what I have written down was because his McIntyre's contract was supposed to run out before Mania, and he since he was off TV and he had injury time, they they put that into the contract saying, oh no, you didn't fulfill your dates, so we're extending it past Mania. So I see Seth beating McIntyre only because due to the inactivity time and injury time that they put down, then Drew's contract expires. He walks away. I, I see Seth going over. Jimmy? I agree with you on sending your money in the bank, cashing. It's either going to be one of two ways. It's either going to be deja vu. And you know what I'm talking about. Yep. Santa Clara. <laughs> and Senor comes out like Seth did. Or it's he comes out after either Seth wins because they we've even said it. No heel with the case has ever cashed in on a heel. That's true. He will cash in on Seth. Although this would be a first. Yeah. Mm-hmm. To see him cash in on Drew. Right. Because Drew screwed him over on being able to use it. Even though it's ridiculous half the time the way he's been trying to cash it in was him bringing another ref. doing. Um, it's like you already have the matches going on. Mm-hmm. Knock the, the guy's knocked out. Hand over the briefcase. Tell the ref to start the new match and just... Pick up the win. Yeah. That's how it usually works. Let's face it. Money in the bank has been predominantly cashed in successfully. That's predominantly. Mm -hmm. But you've had someone who won the money in the bank, cashed in, won their match, but did not win the title. Right. Cena. Cena. Mm -hmm. Strowman. Yep. And um, and, what's his name? Yeah. While you you think about that, (laughs) it's been one of those situations where- And what do you call it? For the most part, Damien Sandow. Damien Sandow, thank you. Yeah. It's basically been you either cash it in and you win or you cash it and in you and lose. you don't win. Right. The the not wins have been few and far between. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, do I think Damien Priest is ready to be like the world champ? Mm. I could see he has the potential. Yes, he does. But is he ready for it? I would think he'd be better suited right now to be the guy that runs in, cashes in, and screws out Gunther. Yeah. But for him to uh-huh. the the war between him and Drew mm-hmm. would be phenomenal. Is already been established because Drew sided with the Judgment Day, and they were he was Damien was told no, don't don't do it, don't do it now. This is a clear pathway, and this is payback for him. So I see send your money in the bank, cashing in on Drew, because there's going to be a lot of chaos going on with CM Punk sitting at the announce table. Exactly. Yes. So now let's talk women's match, mm-hmm. because this is the man versus mommy. mommy. And... In all honesty, I got to go, and I love Becky Lynch, but I got to give it to Rhea. That's what I have, too. I have Rhea retaining with help from Dominic. Yeah. Although, after seeing Dominic get <laughs> laid out. Five times. Yeah. yeah. No, one punch. 
no. by Becky. Three times. Yes, but she did it once in the middle of the ring. That, was the that did not look like she pulled that punch. You saw his jaw move. You don't mention the baby. Yes. <laughs> you, you don't, you don't mention their kid. You don't mess with mama. No. Nope. Yeah. That mama, but, no. But the thing is, mommy is on top of her game. She is. Now, yeah. granted, yes. When she came out on SmackDown, on, what was Raw. it, on Raw, and she was confronting Becky, she had her wrist wrapped. Mm-hmm. But she didn't have it wrapped earlier before that. So I think that was more of a precautionary mm-hmm. and to sow some seeds of doubt into right. people's minds. But I think Rhea's walking away with this one. I go to both women, definitely a five-star match. I think towards the end... Dominic comes out, maybe just distracts her, maybe tosses Rhea or something, but I see Rhea retaining with a little help from Dominic, which could set up down the road Rhea, Dominic, Seth, Becky. Tag match. It's a possibility for a setup down the line, mm-hmm. but I think this is about time for... I. The, one of the reasons why I said I see Drew winning mm-hmm. is I think this is a little bit of time for Seth to take some time off, yep. recover a little bit, mm-hmm. and you figure Becky's on her book tour. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Becky's on a high right now. So Lynch is all over the place with her book tour. Mm-hmm. Rhea Ripley's been all over, and she's been a phenomenal champ. Yep. That's why I, I have to give it to Rhea. Rhea. Yeah, I, I see Rhea retaining, um, setting up down the road, Rhea, Dominic, Becky, Seth, yeah. you know, and the, 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 the rubber grudge match. Mm-hmm. Um, both, but I see this being a five-star match. Oh. Both women can oh, go. Yeah. Absolutely. It's, you're definitely going to have holy shit moments. You're definitely going to have a lot of near falls where you think, okay, this has to be the end of it. You know, just the amount of damage both women are giving out to each other. How can you possibly kick out of that? And then you're going to see a kick out and you're like, holy no. shit. I, I see this being like at least a half hour, 45 minute match. All right, Jimmy. I see. Well, I'm actually both ways. I could see re I could see Becky winning. I could see your thoughts on that, even with the book tour. Yep. But also I see like Becky winning because I think they're going to set up something else. But the thing is, it's not going to be with Naya and everything. Because I think everybody's getting sick and tired of Naya mm. and everything. Hands, let me tell you something. Not, not for Although Naya. I will say the video I saw with Naya Jax outside the ring for a match, Actually. like she was laid out and like they fed her candy from yeah, like. She, she picks her head up like like a like on like a walrus and she just yeah. they get the- food in her mouth. And she goes back down. I tell you one thing. I would have rather have seen Naya and Jade. Because the way they acted in the Rumble, they should have had that match. Oh yeah, that that was a, that, that was, was an establishing thing of setting up because Jade is so strong. Yeah, Jade is strong, but and I mean, granted, they gave her the title in AEW, but the thing is, they never groomed her to wrestle correctly. Now she's been in the plant and learning. And everything, I think she'll do a hell of a lot better. I think she will, but I think it needs a little more time to establish. Yes. So I don't see it starting off like that way. I think like I could see Jade because she's signed for SmackDown. I see her and Bianca or, kind yes. of like they're giving a, giving a rivalry because let's face it, Jade Cargill is a phenomenal. Beast. Yeah, I mean she is. And if you take one look at her. She is the live action version of Storm. Mm-hmm. Like Marvel should already be like setting down a fucking contract just for her alone. Physically, I she looks like Storm. like Storm. I could see when it finally comes time for Rhea to drop the title, I could see her dropping it to Cardgill. Because if you look at the two women physically, I could put I'll put those two of the tag team against any man in business. Yeah. The but on- those two will put on a phenomenal match. Look, the only way I can see that Rhea Ripley losing the title is if she's taking time off. Yeah. I mean, eventually when she has to, to drop get, it, I could see yeah, her dropping it. For her to, getting because she is engaged. Getting, yeah. I could yeah. see and her dropping it to yeah. Cargill. She's engaged. Dom just got married. Mm-hmm. So 
it's yeah. one of those things where it which is funny dominic mysterio goes gets married comes back has a match and loses right after getting married man it's, it's like crazy. wow you won't even get shotzi yeah <laughs> it's like shotzi got married she goes oh shoot i gotta i gotta, I gotta go match. and she ran to the ring and she had a <laughs> yeah but that's the thing. Like Dominic married his girlfriend. Like now, mm-hmm. she, and they he, booed yeah. him at the at the, they at the oh, wedding. Yeah. That's what that was hysterical about it. Yep. And that's just the. It's one of those things where right now, unless the marriage is already like they have the date and everything, because I mean, let's face it, WWE's had their female superstars got married. Two of them got married on the exact same day. Talk about a split roster yeah. of who went to whose wedding, mm-hmm. and that was Carmella. And Alexa Bliss. Yep. Which I'm hoping for an Alexa Bliss return sometime soon. Yeah. I think I've heard promos have been shown. Yeah. And, and that's the thing. Alexa Bliss making her return would definitely and, shatter oh, yeah. everything. And the funny thing is with her. That could be a definite X factor. Oh. Yeah. And the funny thing is with her is they had her gimmick. They had everything all set up. Yep. The, last year, not for nothing from... Last year, Rumble, until now, WWE three times has had books ready, but then, no, excuse me, four times, yep. they've had books ready, and they've had a chop. Oh, yeah. Alexa Bliss was all ready to do her gimmick. What happens? Bray gets hurt. And then, then they had to do, okay, Bobby, you're winning this. We're going to give his consequences. Well, that was the thing. Bray Bray was taken out of commission for a while. He got hurt. He was sick. And then we were, they were, everyone was hoping for him to come back. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, Alexa Bliss got pregnant. Yeah. Yeah. So she got married. She got pregnant. She got married. She got pregnant. Oh, she was already married at that time. So uh Alexa, Bray, Charlotte, and then Punk. All at once, all those at once. Yeah. They had everything all set up. And, and then it went boom, boom, yep. boom, 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 boom. So, and that's the but thing. We're going to yeah. see, we're going to see some craziness when it comes to WrestleMania this year. Yeah. Now, could we see some returns? Can we see a few people make some appearances? I mean, they lingered a long time on the trailer on Monday night when Cody was taking a beating outside by The Rock. And what did they show? You see Cena and you see Austin's face on that trailer in the background. Mm. People are speculating. Are we going to see them make an appearance? Cena may not be filming anything. Yeah. He could just show up and just be there. And, and same thing just with Charlotte. showing up. Yeah. And you're not, not interfering. Just showing up is interfering enough. Yeah. I mean, the worst thing I've seen and I've heard is when WrestleMania is where you've had Benoit, Rhino, sitting up top in the skyboxes at WrestleMania and, and like, well, remember, disappointed well, looks. What was it? TLC 2? What was it? Rhino was involved in that yeah. match. Yeah. Because he was the one helping to guide, what was it, Edge up the Edge. ladder? Yeah. So yeah. it goes to show, like, interference can work depending on what it is. I know you don't want the interference, right. but at the same time, If it's done right, it's the same way like we all get fed up watching wrestling and because they don't want someone to look weak, surprise roll up, Mm -hmm. surprise roll up. You can you only do that so many times in one event. Otherwise, in one night, if everyone's doing a surprise roll up, it's not a surprise anymore. Which, according to Simon Miller, is the most devastating move in all of professional wrestling. So is the idea. Oh, yeah. Oh the, please! The eye gouge. It it's the it's not the most co- devastating, like the surprise roll up. Yeah, yeah. But it's one of those things where right now, it's like I can see WrestleMania being off the rails for what's gonna go down mm-hmm. because we're gonna see a lot of stuff. I I don't think they've announced like a what you call it, like a musical guest. No. And no. Please don't. Please don't. Yeah. Because you don't need it. I don't need a musical performance. No. Nope. 
I don't, it's like, it's bad enough that we're going to spend 20, 15, 20 minutes before each match running down the rivalries. Yeah. And, and then, yeah, like we said and before. running to ringside. Oh, yeah. And the ringside. Who parked here? Who had this for lunch? Yeah, who but it's, who cares? This is the point where it's like, all right, you know what? If some, if the ramp is that long, mm. then we need to bring back the golf carts and yes. everything. It's not as crazy as, what was it? The, uh. The year when it was in Tampa, when it was the take of Roman. Oh, my that, God. Oh yeah, God. that was holy shit. And then wasn't that the one where somebody got struck by lightning? In the so, audience. In the, the, in the yes. audience, up, up on the top, somebody yeah. got struck by lightning because it started to rain. Yeah, yeah. because it, you're doing this in an open uh, stadium. Yeah. And, and the funny thing was that take, they were like, take us like, I ain't doing this. And they put him halfway through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You had him come up halfway down the ramp because... That's a long oh, ass yeah, that was a walk. Long ass ramp. The, just think about it. If they would have had that long of a run to get to the ring, you'd be when it was the get there. yeah with the Ultimate Warrior. Oh, forget who, it. <laughs> he would have been gassed out before he even got in he the ring. I get to the ring I'm like uh, fuck it, I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Now we we were all fans of the Ultimate I Warrior as kids, race, but yeah. at the same we time, all, we all shook the rope like the Ultimate Warrior. Yeah, we all we all did it. We all went. We all like we all went. Put the streamers around yeah. our arms and stuff. But <sighs> at the same time, we're all sat there and knew that match was going to be short. Yep. He ran from the back. Didn't well, stop no, didn't, running around. It wasn't. No. He like sprinted. He beat that the, was a full that was, run. <laughs> yeah, those. Bring the, me out, anybody. I the, don't care. Those matches were so short because. He spent the bulk of his time running. Running. Yeah. Well, that's what uh, Bischoff said about when he first saw Goldberg. He goes, okay, he comes out. He goes, he spits fire. He spears here. He gets the pen. And he goes, and he's back in the back before the smoke even clears. Yeah. yeah. Spear, jackknife, up, oh, back in the. <laughs> spits fire, spear, jackknife, pin in the back. Yep. <laughs> Like that was it. It's you know that's when they the refer, reference of five moves of doom. Yeah, yep. and this is exactly what we're gonna get. Mm -hmm. WrestleMania is gonna be one of those moments where we're gonna see a lot of Jesus Christ. How long is this entrance? Yep. The elaborate entrances have become so it, spectacular. It, it's become the norm. But it's too much. I'm sorry. I don't need to see someone running down to the ring for 30 minutes. Just to get to the match. Yep. It was bad enough during the rumble where it was like, how long is it taking? You ate up most of your time between the next entrant yeah. just getting to the ring. I mean, that's when, you know, everybody like, where's Eddie and the low rider? I could drive right down to the ring. Yeah, you know, yep. Undertaker coming out on the motorcycle. Even Triple H coming out on the motorcycle. Oh, yeah. He came out on the quad. Yeah. He, no, the trike. The trike. The trike. The trike. Yeah, at least Undertaker with the motorcycle. Fuck this. I'm riding. Yeah. It would, you know, you see stuff like that. It's a great image. Yeah. But seeing someone walk to the ring that long. Yeah, it's like no. I mean, it's a great again. It's a great visual. I mean, at least Matt Riddle would come out with, with the, the little scooter, scooter yeah. so he saved himself some energy. Mm -hmm. But it's like okay. But then again, when you're Riddle, you're so high anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing with Van Dam. Same thing with Van. You're so hot. You're so baked to begin with. Yes, but Rob Van Dam never had to go that far no, to the ring. No, he never had to go that far. <laughs> well, uh, I, I, th I think Riddle, my favorite line from Riddle was when he was with uh, RK Bro. Oh, God. Yeah. And, um, you know, he kept trying to get, he kept trying to break Orton, trying to get him to say, you care about me. So finally, Orton says, I don't want to see anything happen to you. And Riddle goes, you do care. And, yeah. and Orton goes, damn it. Listen, I, I watched the a &E biography, Legends, yep. for Randy Orton, and Orton said if it wasn't for Riddle... He would have left. He wouldn't have made it through yeah. those last years before his surgery. Like, Riddle was the one that took all the abuse. Yeah, it, he it, came in, so, like, hit a couple moves, and then went, and he was back, and they were done. Yeah. Riddle did... Riddle was the war card. Riddle. War card. Yeah. Yeah, Riddle, sa Riddle saved a lot yeah, of those yeah. matches by being there, so he helped extend Randy's career, Yep, which is one of the reasons why I'm going to still keep saying I see it being Kevin Owens winning. I want Kevin Owens to win, yeah. but yeah. I don't see it. I see it because, let's face it, he's knocking two guys out at once. I, I guess and in, in all honesty, we're going to end up, at the very least, seeing a stunner RKO combo oh, without a doubt. on Paul. Yes. Logan will end up stunned, 
and RKO'd. And in a hospital. And then probably hit with a pair of brass yeah. knuckles but from each of them. I, the fan in me wants Kevin Owen to win. Knowing the business like I do, I don't think it's going to happen. You know, you know, right now, I mean, the bulk of it, because we're recording and we didn't see, we yeah. haven't seen who's moving on for the, for the tag titles for SmackDown, which I felt like Raw was, hey, here's your qualifying match. That's it. SmackDown was, okay, this week we're going to do two matches to figure out who moves on to the next bracket, and then we'll do the same thing the next... It was like, really? Yeah. This was a little too much. So we're going to have two separate brackets. You know, Legato Del Fantasmo would be amazing to see those guys jumping around, but you can say the same thing with Grayson Waller and Austin Theory with the ladders and everything. So... Out of them, it's, you know, I'm legitimately thinking that it's going to be Legato del Fantasmo and possibly the Street Profits being the ones in there. Because if Bianca Belair is already now being put in to a tag match for the women's titles, mm -hmm. I, you know, I can't see Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins not getting in there. Yeah. With a possibility of them trying to squeeze in, even if it happens on the SmackDown before we see we get K Cross versus Bobby Lashley, Lashley. Mm. in some kind of crazy match. Oh, yeah. Because, I mean, I would love to see Lashley be there at WrestleMania, but he hasn't been given a match yet. And if it is... And they do owe him for last year. Yeah. yeah. And if the Profits do not get in, I can almost guarantee seeing a six-man tag match at WrestleMania where it's the Street Profits and Lashley taking on the final judgment. Yep. Or well, final testament. Final whatever. testament. Whatever. The stupid logo. Yeah. Even though it's a good faction, but the stupid logo. Yeah, fix yeah. the logo. The logo is the thing that kills me. It's like, really, you came out with the cheapest logo you could find. You rushed those shirts, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> the only gimmick where that works is Orange Cassidy. Yeah. Where it's like, whatever. Yeah. And he, then whenever he comes out, if you notice, he just gets like that one sparkler that goes up. <laughs> it does. It just it, like... It, it's it's our truth just walking out there like where it's completely delusional. Yeah. But, again, Orange Cassidy, that man can go. Yeah. Well, we want to thank everyone for tuning in for our WrestleMania predictions. Um, the, w being that we did do this way in advance, yeah. things the card is subject to change. And um, I'm going to do my best to post a few videos of my reactions for things on TikTok. Mike, uh, would you be willing to do either a Facebook or Instagram like giving your reactions. Yeah, if I can get it, yeah, I'll I'll put it up and I'll Jimmy? show some stuff. Just remember, on Sunday, up until a certain certain point, otherwise I'll be in. <laughs> <laughs> then you'll be, you'll you'll find the results yeah. the next day. Next watch day. Next day. Yeah. At least you cut co you cover night one, and <laughs> I know I'll be I'll at least be able to cover night two because unfortunately I have uh, work on the first night. So, uh, if they're making me do a bunch of stuff, it you will cut. Be able to watch. Yeah. If I'm left to my own devices, then I have a chance. And you just better hope nobody from work hears you say this. <laughs> yeah. Um, I can say this, and I don't care if they hear me saying it or not. Yeah, I know what they do at work as well. So, yeah, go ahead. Make um, his day. Yeah, um, you blow up my spot, I can blow, blow up, up yours. yours. And uh, trust me, you've gotten a lot worse <laughs> than I did. So, yeah, with that being said, if you'd like to send us your predictions for WrestleMania, and we'll cover after WrestleMania because we should be back that week, yes, and we'll be able to have a discussion on how our results all panned out. Yes, Email us at dragoonslayerpodcast at gmail.com. That's dragoonslayerpodcast. All one word. Dragoon is spelled with two O's. That's dragoonslayerpodcast at gmail.com. Wow, my voice is really shot, so yeah. I can't do that the way I normally would. What? 
hopefully um my voice will be back by our next episode uh you can find me on my socials blue dragoon 13 tiktok instagram threads youtube and on twitch which you can find the link to the discord page mike how can they find king hamster pellet himself you can find me on instagram at hamster pellet productions you can also check out the dragoon's layer podcast on instagram at dragoon's layer podcast and you can follow me at michael Chiavo on facebook you can follow me at snapchat james si0925 instagram and threads james h underscore fourth facebook james haynes fourth and TikTok James0925. Wow, he's getting a little too comfortable just jumping in before even. I know. I didn't even I get just, a chance yeah, to key him up. He just jumps right in here. Well, you know, when you have to write down all of your socials and read yeah, them I off, know. it you know, it just takes don't a little remember because remember, I'm getting old. We're all getting old at I've some point or another. It. And I think I've hit my bump counter. So I'm done with the amount of bumps I can take in this lifetime. Same. <laughs> Mike, I think he, I got some bumps left in me. He's got a few bumps I left. I got a few bump fingers left. A few <laughs> fingers, a few bumps. I'm good. He's Just lucky. Leave the middle. So. Yeah. <laughs> I got the I got the one that matters. So <laughs> yeah. You know, um, I can't take any more bumps, but I can definitely lay a few you of them can down. Give them. <laughs> so with that being said, we want to thank you all for listening for this special WrestleMania predictions episode of the Dragoon's Lair podcast. Uh, make sure you like, follow, subscribe on all of our platforms. You know, leave us reviews. We greatly appreciate it. You know, we're on Spotify, iHeartRadio, Apple Podcast, Amazon Podcasts. We're on YouTube on the Blue Dragoon 13 YouTube channel. And you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram. Join up, follow, like, share, leave us comments. The comments help other people find us along with reviews. And if you don't tell people about the show, they're really missing out. And you're yes. depriving them. Yeah, it's not you're not a good you know, friend if you don't yeah, tell them about us. Because no. we're a family here and yes. we want you to join in on the uh, conversations. Hey, hey. We put the fun in dysfunctional. <laughs> we oh. show you what's behind the sphere. Oh God. Please don't let me do <laughs> Don't do that again. <laughs> Please hey, don't. I gotta live with that. Uh, unfortunately, you do. That's true. Now to quote uh, Waka Warner. Good night, everybody. Good night. <laughs> you don't have to go home, but, but you, you can't, can't stay, stay here. here. Now get out. <laughs> <laughs>